Hello and welcome back to uh, what are we calling this again? Uh, multiplayer in Paradise Realm. Multiplayer. With yeah, that one. yeah, Robert, Stejo, and Zippy. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Oh, not again. I just said hello. No, no, no. That's not how the Pontians spoke. It it's made sense as Germany. Spoke. It made sense as Germany. I did not say hello. I said hello. It's different. I said it all noble and regal, like because we're no, playing you, you, Imperator. So hello. can I? Hello, hello, can hello. I cross over from uh, Byzantium to the, the the little guy? Across the road. Yeah, there's a there's I mean, a straight. There's there. those little yellow Plato squares. So that is here. that is straight. Okay. Mm. They look like Pringles, actually. Pringles. Wait, what? How did I? What? How did I lose support for that in a month? Oh, maybe that's where I, I got my tyranny. Maybe there is an election. Who's not I, don't, I don't know how Senate seats work. Oh, money. All these countries are just randomly giving me money. I don't understand. They tend to do that, yeah. I think that they just want to like keep your opinion up or something for some reason. I would love to be allied with uh, Armenia. It's likely our or... side will probably lose. I don't agree with you. Oh, I should have agreed with him. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help that I sent my light, uh, sorry, heavy cav in there. On, it, on their own first. Fine. I I'm, gonna, I'm bringing it back. Guess what I'll do? I'll lower my taxes and then promote all my pops. Ooh, it's gonna be an election soon. Need to get my technology. I'm, I got 7.5% efficiency. This is garbage. Yeah, yeah. I'm on. I'm on tech two nearly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I have nearly tech two, and I have. Uh, I've taken a tradition. My first military tradition. And it so costs. The... It costs 15 mana per uh, promotion too, which is huge for some reason. I'm assuming it's because I'm. I'm a tribe. Yeah, I think tribes pay a base. No, it's it's 10 base to promote a freeman to a citizen and tribes pay extra. They pay an extra 50%. If you hover over, um, click on a freeman and then hover over at the top of the column where it says promotion to citizen cost. Hover over the scroll, it'll tell you why. Yeah, is tribe plus 50%. Apparently they're all different culture and religion for me too. Yikes. Oh, and my religious, uh, my omen power is really bad, too. Mm. Luckily, my stability is, is higher than it should be. So, are you, are you bad and you should feel bad, or what? <laughs> my religious unity is 10%. That might have something to do with it. Yeah, no, that, that's gonna happen. My cultural yeah. unity is coming up, though. I'm now at 6.31%. Wait, what? No. No, I'm at 20%, but I now have Pusborns as well. I don't know how I have Pusborns. Maybe it's slaves, actually. Probably slaves. We're fixing the problem. My neighbor just attacked me, even though he's got, like, half my army, and I have two allies who have defend... No, they have not defended me, but I don't understand why he attacked. That was not good. Not a smart go. idea. I, I am locked into this province until this uh, siege is finished. Like, zone of control, it's obviously changed since EU4, but not changed for the better. Has it changed? It doesn't feel like it's that different. Oh, yeah, it's definitely different. All right. Mm, I, I don't think it's different. The only thing that's really different between this and EU4 is that capital cities can pro project a zone of control. It's a lot harder to get military access in this game, too. Yeah, and the AI doesn't tell you why they want your military access. Which I kind of liked from you for. 
allowed me to play kind of like a political game with my excess. One thing that's really, really weird is that um, even though there's been like tons of exploitative type things you can do with black flagging in Europe being resolved for, you can cancel military access while your army is in another nation and immediately black flag yourself on command. Yay. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's just a thing you can do. Yeah, so I may have cocked up this war. I'm now trapped in the bottom corner of um, Crimea. I literally cannot get out of it. Oh, that's not good. Because I'm the only province I can walk to is the fort. I can't go back at all. I just got one of my top men in my government killed in a duel. So that was a good choice by me yeah Why did you do that how, well, how are you losing to amisos not losing oh shit i am losing hold on wait a minute i don't know maybe i should take one of these uh armies off of ai control possibly <laughs> you still use an ai control good sorry i mean they're good it's good it's fine it's just you know it's ai fine i'll figure it out i think it's because they seized down a couple of my provinces when i, I wasn't looking i'll just siege them back no, no biggie oh yeah well i'm stuck in a fort and i think as soon as i siege this fort i'm gonna be stuck by another fort that's fun yeah once i uh win this siege oh my god my army just left all right take take everyone off of ai control this is stupid Man, I can't get this damn seat. I'm, I'm stuck at 42% chance to take this fort. Like, last three or four ticks in a row. Well, this guy just stood up is ignoring my orders now. Oh, shit. All right, well, apparently the AI can just take control of your army. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, if the it's general disloyal. is disloyal. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Oh, God damn it. I thought, all right. I thought Stigio was the one that hadn't actually played at all. <laughs> I will win this war. Just going to take me a while. Why is this loyalty so low? <sighs> this this other enemy has gone from like negative forty percent chance to take a fort to zero percent now, while I've been at forty two percent like the whole time. He he keeps making progress, and I can't take it at forty two percent. Come on, I'm gonna set the building on fire. Yay! I won my siege. Now can I escape? Oh, I can. Uh, I should still probably take the fort though. I, I can't believe that I started my siege way before this guy. I'm over a year on the siege. Was it like 50 days before the other guy? And he's managed to catch up with my siege progress because I'm stuck on 42% as well. Mm -hmm. Weird, that's what I just said. <laughs> that's yeah. what I says as well. Now I'm in a siege race. 35% versus 28%. Or negative, both of them. I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to lose. Of course I'm going to lose. Of course, yeah. So you should be aware, I don't know if, if you've noticed yet or not, but um, you are able to force force march without spending military points from the very beginning of the game. Right, okay. It's pretty good, tactically. It's a, a huge boost to your mobility, but you don't spend monarch points, so you can just you know freely use it. Well, I'm bigger now. Yay. You, hey, you grew by one city. Good, congratulations. As he gets attacked by Thrace and Phrygia. Uh, Thrace like me. No. Oh, that's a start. Yep, yeah, he's now at 0%. I'm at negative 14. Of course. I can afford a military tradition. Nice. Those are quite good. I'm going to attack him. Fuck that guy. Right now I'm going to win the war. I just have to wait for the siege to take down. 
Apparently I will win this battle. Are horse archers considered light like cavalry? No, they're, 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 they're a unit type, but they have like the same movement speed as light cav. Um, okay, so you, I would need one that specifically gives horse archers, guy. Yeah, if you look in the top left corner right by your flag, there's a macro builder that has no keyboard shortcut. And you can see all the unit types, and you can see that like horse archers are right next to hippies. Oh, okay. They actually have the highest. Horse archers are nuts. They've got four movement speed and five maneuver. It's crazy. Yeah, being able to shoot at dudes that are miles away is great. Yeah, I won my siege. I don't know what tradition to go for. They all seem pretty shy. Uh, the biggest thing I, I usually look for is um, if you look at the fourth row of traditions, you've got to work your way down each each one of the sides. And the fourth one gives you like a special uh, tactic or ability or something. It's kind of like uh, Stellaris. You can pick and choose between between them, though, like with Unity. So if you don't want to go all the way down one side, you can just, you know, just take whatever you want. Oh, apparently my country desires horse archers. Damn it. Horse archers are great. They are good. I just don't have any. Your country desires them? Why does your country desire them? They have Persian traditions. It's all of my uh, tradition, tradition choices are related to horse archer or light cavalry in some way. Yeah, it's a very horse-driven country. Yeah, we, li we like our horses here. It's true. Oh, all these guys are not the right soldiers. Well, that costs all my cost oratory to do that. Ugh. I need that to like war. Oh god damn it! Wait, what? Oh, my I had a slave revolt and then it just guy. immediately died. <laughs> it was one guy. He's like, fuck this. Might have been. Yeah, I'm finally getting the upper hand because they can't siege me anymore, and I've got three forts. Oh god. The race has declared war on me, but I've got an ally. Yay! It's coming in. It's not a very powerful ally. No, but still, it's an ally. Nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. Don't forget to set your uh, military tactics. I don't know what that is. When you have a unit, <laughs> when you have a cohort uh, selected. Okay. Or a unit selected. There's a, a tactics button in the top right corner. You see that moose icon? Uh huh. Yeah, you gotta use the moose man. <laughs> moose man. The turtle yeah. better. Be the moose user. I I am I am the rabbit. You like me some rabbits? I'm I've I've clicked on the rabbit. The yeah. rabbit has been selected. We are. We Is are that the one that had the most percentage? Yeah, big numbers. Big numbers are big. better. They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows this. Oh, yeah. Matter of knowledge. I don't... So, why can I not get no more horses? Well, I mean, are you trying to get them from me? Well, yeah, you gotta have people that are within diplomatic range that like you enough that they would accept it. Or you could have slaves that you... Do you have access to your own horses? No, no, I mean, I, I, mean, I want to build horses. I want to build... Where are the you can you oh, can no, build them in okay. Byzantium. Okay. You just can't build them in Chalcedon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's based on provinces. Like whoever has access to it. I would like some more horses. All right, my Me war too. is my war is complete. Is done. One. An option to gain a free Oh no, fort, that's that's a hundred and ninety four percent. What kind of war did I declare? I stupid. Oh yeah, it was a show superiority war of aggression. Fuck. 
have uh, to do a claim, huh? Yeah, it's 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 eighty three war score to take four cities. I think you may have made a mistake there. Fuck! I just gained a free fort. I'm also gonna take this fucking fort so I don't have to take it again. And also this fort. I don't care if I don't have a, a, a thing to it. Want it. Thank you. Bye. Fuck you. Peace. Come on. Break the siege. Come on. I've Let's got a rebellion going to break out in 41 months. Due to 43.5% wait, go back, of my population from a foreign culture group and living in disloyal provinces. Maybe... Maybe that wasn't such a good idea for you to do that. Byzantion wants grain. No, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. They don't have go. any spare earthenware. Onto stuff. No, I don't have any spare. Freeman output. Probably good. I did it. I'm at war, but they don't. I thought it says Lambert is laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Lambert is laughing at us. I can't actually give away this resource right now. Sorry. Yet you would. No, I'm using the uh, the capital bonus. Have you not selected the trade overview and put the pot upright? Oh, that reminds me, yeah. Go I, put the I, pot I, upright. I, I forgot to do that a lot, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't trade away your surplus. That's bad. Oh. Pots are falling over. Stand them up. That's, that's <laughs> really, why is that default? <laughs> because. Well, in case you're like, ah, I don't care about the surplus. Go ahead. It really makes no sense that that's the default. Hmm. Utterly exhausted from battle, a small group of soldiers under the command of this guy... Muted mutiny. Oh shit! It's actually quite they, a lot. Of they captured the the general. Wait, I can I can get this guy killed. Wait a minute. Yeah, I've got a lot of prisoners now. I've captured so many of their the generals of the people that I'm fighting right now. You can actually take their money too if they have uh like a certain amount or something. There's an interaction you can do. Yeah, that gives you tyranny, doesn't it? Some of it, yeah. Oh, wow. Sarmatia got wrecked. They always do. Mm. Good job I didn't choose them, then. Sriracha. Sriracha, sriracha. It's so ridiculous. I think I, I, have, I make 11.5 research points. That's it. But it's 300% research efficiency. God. Um, I make 1.6 at 10%. Make 2.4 at 10%. Take that. Need to make some more trading. And Steejo is meanwhile off there. You know, over there trying to trying to live. <laughs> is it going, Steejo? Are you are you at war yet? Slow make 4.9 points. Yeah, I'm at war. I make oh, 4.9 points. Fighting, fighting Thrace, huh? Yeah, they, they declared. Yeah, the, the alliances and stuff over here are fucking weird. Like, they'll ally me and then they'll break the alliance and then they'll yeah. ally me again then they'll break the, it's like what are you doing well it says mind. it says in the tooltip the the reason why they're planning on breaking the alliance is because they plan on attacking you or someone you're allied to yeah so it seems like alliances are a little bit more fluctuating imminent battle it's very likely that our side will win well, that's a good sign and why are they doing it then because man ai gonna ai Punch him in the face! <laughs> yeah, they got fucking stomped, man. 39% yeah, of my population is now boss porn. What? I, I have converted uh, 44 pops so far. So there's totally going to be a rebellion. Foreign culture yeah, group do living in more... this province. 
assimilation of moon. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this unless uh, I can assimilate okay. them. I think just uh, converting and assimilating my pop will give me the Holy technology that I need. Holy fuck. There is so many pops here. More slaves to be had. Yeah. They're part of my nation. Oh. Enslave them. Make them into citizens then, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you could do that. Or you could enslave them. There's so many mercenaries just sitting around in this guy's place. I just spent all of my oratory power trying to get this place happy. There's now... It's still 43.5%. What? I just converted you fucks. There's 55 Bosporans still. Only 29 point whatever percent. That's the only foreign culture group. Oh wow. So confused. So confused. Why why is this still gonna happen? Oh yeah, no no, yeah, it's me. Alright, so uh oh. There you go. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.